Hello everyone, and welcome to our new series of Arlequin's Defense. This opening was first introduced in 1921 in the Budapest tournament by Alexander Eliochin, who became world champion in 1927, developing the knight to f6, and after e5, moving the knight again. Sometimes white can play c4, forcing the knight to move again. And, well, people didn't like it so much. But then it became that quite reasonable to understand that white's pushing the pawn so fast, creating some weaknesses in the center, and the opening maybe not as horrible as thought at the beginning. I cannot remember, uh, other than Eliochin, uh, any other world champion really using it or playing it. Uh, Fischer actually used it in several games, but really not many. Even Chuk is the highest rated player playing this opening. Albot has been playing it quite a lot. In recent years, we have seen Aronian and Adams, Nakamura. But again, not as a main weapon. Before, Fischer used it, Coach Noy. So, what we'll try to do in this series is basically have a little repertoire for white. I would mainly like to focus on the solid line, which I believe today is considered the best way by the top players. Knight f3, not going for the four pawns, for example. Theory claims black is about okay. Also, incredibly fast develop development also seems to be quite reasonable for black. Instead, it seems that the solid play is the one preferred by top players. Black has several main replies here. D takes E5, which is a very interesting one with some fire on the board, which we will have a look today. Knight C6 is another possibility. G6 possibly the main possibility, and bishop g4, another one. So, now that we have a little bit idea of the opening, who played it, let's look at some lines. Take on e5, take on e5, and knight to d7. White already moved his knight twice, and black simply want to exchange knights. Although, knight takes f7 is very serious move to consider. Another very interesting possibility played a lot by Carlsen. I actually should have mentioned that he is playing this line quite a lot, not in the last year or so, but I believe in 07, 08, there were definitely games by Carlsen against top players. So it is very possible to play knight f3 and actually might be somewhat uh, a, a better version for white than in the previous line. C4 comes immediately. Definitely it's a possibility. It was played by Adams, was played by Lautier, Yakovenko. But after 97, to analyze knight f3 is like entering to a steakhouse and ordering salad. Knight take f7. King take f7. Queen h5. King e6. I remember following a game of Tau in 